Well, let's talk about that supplement, uh, Magtine, right? Yeah. Is what it's uh, how you pronounce that. Magtine. What about that product is different than a regular magnesium supplement that people can buy? So I just touched upon this issue uh, briefly before. Uh, so when uh, almost like nine years ago, when we work on magnesium, uh, we never thought we are going to actually even, you know, I'm, I'm professors. So mm -hmm. we are more think about science and we say we can give any magnesium compound. But after we study the um, magnesium compound, you know, let's say uh, magnesium chloride, magnesium citrate on the market, and we found actually there's a one thing which are disappointed and that is their bioavailability is relatively low. And, and magnesium is known to cause diarrhea if you take too much. Mm. So that was original purpose of the using magnesium. So we say, well, actually in this case, we don't want to cause diarrhea. And so you cannot take too much. So then we have to work on the, what I call bioavailability, which means if you give a little bit of magnesium and uh, whether magnesium can get into your body first. Sure. So we actually carry on a study and uh, we found the ordinary magnesium compound have a relatively poor uh, bioavailability. So then we say, okay, let's design something. So we designed this new, let's call Magtin, and we found the Magtin have a, you know, about 50% better bioavailability for bring magnesium to your body. Of course, the 50% is good, but not, you know, that much because you could argue say wow well, you know you you have this design beta magnesium compound but i could just take a little more right so mm -hmm. what a big deal so what we really surprised us is that because we want to increase the brain magnesium so when we carry out the, it's lucky for us when we do the further experiment animal experiment we found in terms of bring up the brain magnesium this compound seems to be almost like a black and white the only mm -hmm. compound which can significantly increase the brain magnesium. Uh, this is the only compound. So that's a different from other magnesium compound mm -hmm. in, in that way. So when we get into human, same thing, if we take a 400 milligram of ordinary magnesium, you don't feel anything. This magnesium compound, if you take liver too much, let's say uh, uh, you know, 400 milligram, you just for that feel a uh, headache. So that because there's huge uh, magnesium getting into the brain. So we, we have to control the dosage to be very low. Mm -hmm. and, and even that low dosage of magnesium is enough. So right now, if you compare the uh, dosage we recommend to people, we only recommend per, per pixel, it's only contain uh, 75 milligram of magnesium, which is almost tiny. Mm -hmm. It's enough to, for, for people to feel the, um, the uh, have a, uh, uh, physiology. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about why that product works better or is more efficient? Oh, that's, that, this is actually, we're talking about brain bioavailability, mm -hmm. which means when the bank isn't getting to your blood, they, oh, okay, I need to talk about a little bit of biology. The brain, <coughs> if the magnesium is so important for your brain function, then mag brain magnesium has to be regulated. Mm -hmm. Your blood magnesium actually can fluctuate based on the you eating food, because when you, when you take the food, you, 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 you put more magnesium into your body, mm -hmm. actually there is a fluctuation, fluctuation of magnesium in your blood. Okay? Okay. Brain doesn't, need, doesn't want to be fluctuated. So the brain magnesium actually is higher than blood magnesium in human or in animal also. Mm -hmm. So this, the, this higher magnesium is maintained by basically reactive transporting magnesium from blood into the brain. So that's about it. Active transporting you require energy dependent transfer. So that's why it's very difficult to increase the brain magnesium. Blood magnesium can just take more. Mm -hmm. Brain, there's active transporting process. So uh, magnesium serine, this mag team, actually, in fact, I have to confess, we don't know the full magnesium. Why they are better? Actually, bring the magnesium, uh, help the magnesium transfer into the brain. So that is increased the what I call brain Biopedibility mm -hmm. of magnesium. So that's what's unique about this compound from product's point of view, not from science point of view. Mm -hmm.